Order, Honorable Senators, uh, Senator Boni, please take your seat. Now, Honorable Senators, we did, uh, I did suspend the sitting of this uh, House to allow Senior Counsel Paul Mwite for the Deputy President one, to locate his client and report back at five so that we may proceed with these proceedings. Senior Counsel Paul Mwite, you may now inform the House so that we proceed. Mr. Speaker, through you, I would like to inform Honorable Senators that I've been able to contact the doctors at Karen Hospital. There are a number of doctors, a team of doctors, who are looking after the president. Because of his condition, I was not able to directly talk to him on the advice of his doctors. He said he must have complete rest for the time being. I was, however, informed by his doctors that he is currently suffering intense chest pains. I did not want to inquire uh, beyond that, much more speaker. But just in order to perhaps save the time of this honorable house, let me, as I sit down, invite uh, Mr. Speaker and the House to look at Article 145 of the Constitution, sub Article 6. Mr. Speaker, Sabbatical 6 of Article 145 says, if the special committee reports that the particulars of any allegation against the president, of course, it applies for the deputy president. If you go to B, have been substantiated, the Senate shall, after according the president an opportunity to be heard, vote on the impeachment charges. Mr. Speaker, we are aware that this Honorable Senate made a decision to hear the charges in plenary so that what we are doing in these proceedings I would suggest and submit we are proceeding under sabbatical 6B. And under sabbatical 6B, this house by the constitution is obligated to accord the deputy president an opportunity to be had, which is why rule 11, of the starting orders of this house specifically provides rule 11 where the national assembly or the president chooses not to appear and i would like to submit that the deputy president has not chosen not to appear. The choice of the language chooses to appear in studying order number 11 is to be read with studying, with, with the Constitution Article uh, 145, sub Article 6, which obligates this Honorable Senate to accord the uh, Deputy President an opportunity to be heard. So I do leave the matter 
in your hands, Mr. Mweshimwa Speaker and Honorable uh, Senators. I would suggest Article 145, the sabbatical, I've read sabbatical 6B, doesn't have a time limit of 10 days. Give the Deputy President in the interest of justice, given the weight of removing a Deputy President from office, give him a couple of days. I thank you. So if I get you correctly, Senior Counsel Paul Mitter, it is your application to the Senate that your client be given a couple of days. Now, a couple of days doesn't mean much. <laughs> um, that is the application. Uh, what I had in mind, I would add the word humbly requests Mwashimua Speaker and this Honorable House, the Senate, a couple of days ahead in mind up to Tuesday. We should be able to know when the Deputy President is able uh, to come and defend himself. I thank you. Council for the National Assembly. Mr. Speaker, sir. Permit me to start by registering our greatest sympathies and empathies and from the team of the National Assembly. Of course, issues to do with health are issues that are beyond our control. Mr. Speaker, sir, that said, we also would want to be cognizant of the fact that we are dealing 